Hi, I'm Jeremy Lip, CEO and co-founder of Limbo. Today I'm going to guide you through your first connection to the application. After submitting a registration form, you have arrived on the dashboard. It shows you statistics about access to your contents. For your first connection, the application uses fake data to display a nice graph. Before proceeding to the first step, we're invited to go to the profile page to validate our personal information. You can update your name, adapt your time zone and language, information about the level of subscription is also shown here. Let's go to step 1. We're invited to connect our different outbound channels. We'll use these channels to share our content. We can connect Twitter account, Facebook account and pages, LinkedIn account and pages, WordPress blogs and Yammer networks. We just have to authenticate on Twitter and the Twitter account is added as a channel. Same with Facebook. We can even specify the reach of our publications made with Limba. And let Limba manage Facebook pages. And with LinkedIn. We are now connected. We can move on to step 2. The platform invites us here to create a campaign. Campaigns are essential components in Limba because they will allow us to filter, group and share content around the same topic. Let's create a first campaign named Social Media. Let's now describe the social media theme with primary and secondary tags. We'll see in the third stage that these keywords are important, so make sure to choose them carefully. Here we'll use the secondary tags Facebook, Twitter and LinkedIn. Campaign options allow us to describe the campaign and give a start and an end date. Our campaign has now been created. We can now proceed to step 3. Here we are on the content reader page. This is the place where we can manage our content, whether it's content we created or curated one. The content you can see here are articles from the Limba blog that have been added by default. So let's add a new content source. We see here that Limba offers four possibilities to create new content. We can add a content feed, such as an RSS feed, we can add single URLs, we can add PDF files or create articles within the application. We can add content feed for any websites that offers RSS feeds. We can also reference YouTube accounts, Dailymotion, WordPress accounts, Blogger, Vimeo, SlideShare and Tumblr accounts. Let's add Mashable websites. You just have to enter the URL of the site and Limba is able to identify the RSS feed. Let's indicate that Mashable content is not produced by us. Mashable articles are now displayed in the content reader. We can now filter our content based on the feed source or on the theme. Here, the content list displays all the articles matching with the keyword social media or SMO. We can now read the articles of this refined list and decide to broadcast one of these articles by clicking on the bullhorn icon. We're now asked to select a campaign and the channels that we want to promote the content on. You can click several times on one channel if you want to promote several times your content on this channel. Limba has generated over 5 shares. For every single one, 
message suggestions have been made. You can select the appropriate one, edit it, define when the share will be broadcasted. We also have the possibility to space out our shares by a specific interval. Here, we will separate our shares by 4 days in order to maximize the visibility of our content and extend its lifetime. And when we're done with editing, you just have to click on one button to program all the five shares. Let's go to the share page. Here, you can see a timeline with all the shares that we have programmed and that have been broadcasted earlier. We can filter them by status, channel or time. And when the share is broadcasted, we will see here, in real time, the number of clicks generated. Thank you for your attention, and now it's your turn to use Limber.